Northwest area head coach Eddie Gajewski will be back on the bench tomorrow night, and that's good news. He's been in Lancaster General Hospital the past two days undergoing tests for his heart. His doctors have decided against surgery and will treat him instead with drugs. He and his son, who's a doctor, will be on the bench tomorrow night when Northwest plays Danville. Gajewski, you'll remember, won his 699th game on Tuesday. That is a state record. Just last week, at a Lancaster hospital, Northwest Area High School basketball coach Eddie Gajewski had some heart surgery performed. And last night, he was back at his old haunt, his favorite seat, the bench, coaching his Rangers to yet another victory. His number two Rangers defeated Bishop O'Reilly 46-36 in the Dallas Unico opener. The win was Gajewski's 700th victory, best in the state. Welcome back, Eddie. Stay well. WNEP salutes Pennsylvania's winning this high school basketball coach. <laughs> Let's go do it. You know, some people think the Northwest Area Rangers are the best basketball team in Northeastern Pennsylvania. I happen to think they're definitely somewhere in the top two anyway. Eastern quarterfinals, a playoff game tonight. Northwest in the white against Marion Catholic. And from the outside, you saw the hoop. Now watch inside here. Rick Mizaki helped uh, Northwest take an early lead with a 15-footer. The Colts kept it close all night. Watch Keith uh, Garcia with a nice move inside. He had a game-high 20 points tonight right there. Now, Northwest, Scott Miner in a close game for this game, and he's got two points. Rangers again, Jeff Stever inside, Scott Noss. He hits. Northwest was on to win it tonight. The final score, 64 to 58. They were definitely pressed in that game. Let's go to the scoreboard, check it out. Number three, Northwest over Marion Catholic, A quarterfinals. Now, one of tonight's games that will get special attention from the scouts will be the Northwest Area Fleetwood game at Martz Hall in Pottsville. Significant because Northwest is the defending state A champion. Secondly, because head coach Ed Gajewski will be looking for his 720th career win, best in the state. In conversation this morning, I asked Ed how he and his team is dealing with playoff pressure. I simply told them, just like most coaches, I said, well, let's just go into this, think about this game, and let, let the others take care of themselves. And insofar as pressure goes, it's, it's something that sometimes is uncontrollable, but I think pressures, for the most part, are self-made, and I try to tell these kids, just look at it in, 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 in that fashion, so that... Uh, just try to be as natural as you can. Let them worry about you, you know. Concern yourselves about them, but uh, be ready to play them. I think that you can do the job, and I just hope that the transfusion uh, gets home with them. Terrific basketball night it was tonight. Great big boys doubleheader in Pottsville. Northwest area, Bishop Hoban in the state quarterfinals. Tim Carlson was at March Hall where it all happened. By four points as the second half begins. Watch top score with 30. Jeff Stever hit from underneath for the Rangers. Then Dave Moylan had 25 for Fleetwood. He nails it from the outside. But the Rangers start to blow it open in the third period. Kevin Eustat with a great move and a one-hander off the glass. And Northwest is up by 12. Then watch this shot by Jeff Stever. It hangs on the rim and it finally drops. That's the way it went for Northwest until the fourth period when Fleetwood started to close it down. Great shot from Troy Snyder from the wing, and it's a close ball game. And finally now, 20 seconds to go. Kevin Neustadt is open, and Northwest wins the ball game by three points, 62 to 59 over Fleetwood in the Eastern Semis. After the game, we talk with Rangers head coach Ed Gajewski. I think they've come a long way, and I worried about that aspect of the game. Composure and poise from the very beginning, and... I think we lost a little bit of it in that last quarter, which I hope that maybe if we get in a similar situation in the next game or the last game, should we be there, I hope we can do a little better in that regard. Well, how many are left? Joe knows. How about it, Joe? We are still loaded. You know that Williamsport game was supposed to be played Wednesday night, but there are right. so many Williamsport fans involved that the PIAA tried to move the game up tomorrow night to get them into a bigger place. They got 5,000, they probably figured they can sell another 5,000 more. So that's why the Williamsport game is being played tomorrow night instead of Wednesday night. We've still got six teams in the state title hunt. Williamsport, Northwest Area, Bishop Hoban, Allentown Central Catholic for the boys, Marion Catholic, and Shenandoah Valley for the girls. The Northwest Area Rangers looking for their second straight Class A title today. Coach Ed Gajewski had them at King's College on the synthetic floor that they'll be on the synthetic for the first time tomorrow night against Morrisville. They're the champs from District 1, a team Gajewski is impressed with. They are a 
a solid ball club. They're capable of running. They're capable of playing a control game. They have good size. They have three boys that have scored over a thousand points. The Rangers are going to have to put it all together to win this one. That means what Gajewski calls a full four-quarter effort. I like to feel that we can play patiently also, but uh, we're going to have to put that act together a little bit better than we did in the last game. The Rangers two wins away from a second straight state title. You know, we very much wanted to show you the Northwest second straight shot of the state title, but it's a 3.30 Friday afternoon game. That makes it impossible. The Rangers in Allentown tonight against Morrisville. Watch 42, Jeff Bromblai get the Rangers on the board. Ali you pass, Kevin Eustat to Jeff Steber, cuts the lead to three points. Watch that, Steber blocks, nice pass to Rich Mazaki, Dwarrow, Lily up, Rangers are up by one. Back and forth all game, Morrisville's Jerry Tony from 22 feet right there. Then Morrisville's Mike Grejwick shoots and misses, but Dwayne Johnson follows. The Bulldogs are up by three here. They go up by seven at halftime. They're leading by 14 when Johnson makes it a point right here. But then Rich Mazaki, number 10, fight for loose ball and scores. Look at that off the glass. They're down by 14. They come back. Scott Miner, nice pass to Steber. It's good in the foul. Northwest. From 14 down and wins tonight, 69-67. That Class A title game is set for Friday afternoon, 3.30 at the Hershey Arena. We'll have the highlight. Northwest area boys and the Marion Catholic girls left for Hershey earlier today, and I'm assured both teams have arrived and are ready to go for state titles tomorrow afternoon. For the Northwest kids, a second straight shot. You know, they went all the way last year. Tim Carlson looks back at what brought the Rangers this far again. For the past 30-plus seasons, it's been a tradition of winning at Northwest High School under the coaching of Ed Gajewski. That tradition reaching its peak last year with a boys' Class A state title and an undefeated 33-win season. Now for Gajewski and this year's Rangers, it's a matter of doing the job again. During the season, Northwest pretty much had their way with opponents, staying unbeaten until a night in February when Milton High School ended the dreams of another unblemished record. But from there, it's been business as usual, winning and more winning, right to the interdistrict playoffs. The Eastern semifinal against Fleetwood, and winning didn't come easily. The Rangers led by four at half, then proceeded to blow the game open in the third quarter. But a game Fleetwood Club fought back to within one point with 20 seconds to go. That's when Kevin Eustat found an opening to put it away, and the Rangers in the Eastern final. In that one, another close ball game against Morrisville. Northwest coming from 14 down at one point to pull out the victory and head to their second state A title game in as many years. The kids are hoping a win over Cornell from the Pittsburgh area will be the capper in a season that saw Coach Ed Gajewski wrap up win number 700 to become the winningest coach in state history. Tim Carlson, Newswatch 16 Sports. And as I've been telling you, we'll be televising the game tomorrow afternoon beginning at 3.45. That's live and highlights of the Marian Catholic girls at halftime. You saw it live and exclusively here on 16, the boys' Class A state title game from Hershey Park Arena, Northwest and Cornell in a close one all the way to the finish. So let's get the low down right now, live from Hershey. Joe Zone is there, and Joe is going to tell us the whole story. Joe, how about it this afternoon down there at Hershey with Northwest and Cornell? Well, Timmy, it's all over here. The Northwest Area Rangers have won that second straight Class A title. That hasn't been done in 13 years in the class. Uh, we were live at 4 o'clock. We hope you saw it. If you didn't, let's go back and take a look at the highlights of that basketball game. Northwest Area and Cornell. Northwest in white. Scott Miner to Jeff Steber. He hits off the glass. But Cornell comes right back. Watch Todd Duncan. He hits from the floor. Cornell, 29 wins this year. Next time down, it's John Van Dyne. He hits from the wing. He had like eight points from out there trying to open up the offense a little bit. Jeff Stever, strong inside all day for the Rangers. Watch this, a spin, a twist, and he got the reverse layup. Cornell, though, gets it to Vaughn Newton. He pulls up and hits from the baseline. He had 12 today. He normally scores 29. Kevin Eustat shows his move to the hoop here. Bit of a hook, and he's got two points. Eustat goes inside to Stever, and he's got the layup. 
Excellent defense by the Rangers. It was 18-15 at the half. Minor forces the turnover. Mazaki slaps it up court to who out? Stever. Finger roll, and that gives him two. Rangers on the break. Mazanki to Ustat to Minor for two. The Rangers go on to win it 48-38. They control the boards in the middle. And take a look at Coach Eddie Gajewski as the clock winds down. You tell me how he feels after winning his second straight Class A title. And Coach Gajewski, why don't you tell us how do you feel? Obviously, you're elated. You've had time to think about it. Can you compare this one to the first one? Well, Joe, uh, I think that the team and myself, I think the fans, I think probably have the same satisfaction. Uh, it, it's a great feeling, and I'm happy for not only the kids, myself, I think we have very supportive fans, and they're going to be back there. We'll have a parade from Bloomsburg, so the appreciation is there, and uh, I, the way I feel, I feel just like the fans, so I'm real happy for everybody. Low scoring, 18-15 at the half, 48-38 final. What do you attribute to low score to? Well, I, I think that the low score, we did not shoot as well as I feel that we're capable of shooting. Also, I think the, the, the pressure attached to the game itself, I think they also didn't shoot as well. And I felt going into the ball game that I wanted to get control of the game where we could do a little coaching. And uh, that's the way it worked out. We, went, we walked off the floor. We had a three-point lead at halftime. Right then and there, I decided I was going to pull them out and see what they could do man to man. And I think that was the key to it, where we had gotten the lead. And when we got the lead, particularly late in the game, we were going to go back in the zone and make them throw. I suspected they might take shots that normally they wouldn't, and that's the way it worked out. Coach, congratulations. You told us you're going to be back next year, and uh, I know everybody in the area will be looking forward to that. Congratulations on your Thank second you straight much. win. Thank you. So that's the story Northwest with its second straight. Class A title. This is Joe Zone reporting live from the Hershey Arena for Newswatch 16 Sports. Timmy? All right, Joe. Thanks a lot. Great job down there, and we got more of that coming up tomorrow. We'll tell you about that in just a second. Northwest, by the way, first time two state uh, titles in a row for a team in 11 years in state history. A long day, folks. Northwest Rangers came to do something that hadn't been done in over a decade, win back-to-back -back state titles. They're in white against Cornell, and that is Jeff Stieber inside where they wanted to be successful today. Cornell successes under the hoop. Northwest wanted that part of the game. Stieber from Mazanki for two more. Cornell's big man is Vaughn Luton. 29 points a game, but just 12 today. They shut him down. Eustat played with aggression all day long. Look at that drive. Low scoring game. It was 18-15 at the half. Eustat here to Stieber and the two of them stay close, back and forth. Now watch the tight Northwest defense. Miner knocks it to Mazanki, to Stieber, and he has got two more. Again, lots of baskets inside. Fast break is pretty. Four years together they played, and that's why that is so successful. It was a close game. In fact, Cornell led by a point with four minutes left, but Northwest opened it up in the final minutes to win by 10 and get Ed Gajewski his second straight state championship. You've had time to think about it. Can you compare this one to the first one? Well, Joe, uh, I think that the team and myself, I think the fans, I think probably have the same satisfaction. Uh, it, it's a great feeling, and I'm happy for not only the kids, myself, I think we have very supportive fans, and they're going to be back there. We'll have a parade from Bloomsburg, so the appreciation is there, and uh, the way I feel, I feel just like the fans, so I'm real happy for everybody. Coach Gajewski told me that he would be back next season. You know what? He's got just about a whole new group of kids and a whole new challenge. WNEP salutes the Northwest Area Rangers State Class A champs again. The 1983 first annual TV 16 number one award for basketball presented to the Northwest Area High School team, 33 wins, zero losses.